We're well into the 2021 UCI Women's World Tour season and in southern Belgium for one of the highlights of any year, La Flèche Wallonne Femme, where road world champion Anna van der Breggen was looking to set a record and win her seventh consecutive edition of the Classic, though plenty of other women were there to stop her. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited and yeah, it's just great to start the season finally after such a long time and I'm excited to, to see how it goes in the new team and yeah. I think it's going to be super hard. Um, there are a few climbs which I haven't done the years before and I think it's just a super selective course and it will be just a hot final I think in the end. Yeah. I was really sick for a week and I could really also not train so much so I will see but I mean we have really strong riders with Juliet and Florcia also and Corinne is back so I will see and I hope I'm already, already way better for Liege also. Yeah, the start of the season was good for me. I want to keep going like this, so we are ready to fight. As a team, we are strong, so I'm, I'm ready to race with these girls. Cool spring weather greeted 140 riders as they rolled out of Huy's Grand Place for 130.2 kilometres. And soon Marta Lack and Femke Heritza got away. But the pair were never allowed too much space and were caught just after the first of eight climbs, which would include tackling the brutal murder hui twice. Inside the final 50 kilometers, three more women got away. Lucinda Brand, Anna Henderson, and Elise Chabet, building a decent lead as they headed to Hui for the first time up the wall. Having missed the break, Van der Breggen's SD Works team were forced to take responsibility for the chase, but they failed to dent the advantage of the leaders, who worked well together taking a lead of around 40 seconds onto the banks of the River Meuse and onto the lower slopes of the climb. That gap came down as they tackled the 19% gradients of the Meur. Their lead was even less than 20 seconds, but as the bunch shattered over the top of the climb, the three leaders gap went out again. It was only on the Côte d'Ereff, when Henderson was dropped, that the race began to splinter. As soon as the breakaway was caught, Brand's Trek Segafredo teammate Ruth Winder attacked hard the American champion building a lead over the top of that climb, and after a tense chase, was still leading as the race reached the final kilometre and the last time up the wall. Van der Breggen knows the climb well and led the way, dropping Winder, but Cassia Niviadoma was determined to take the win and rode alongside the rainbow jersey, threatening to open a gap. But the world champion is the queen of the murder hui and made her move with 100 metres to go, leaving the Canyon SRAM rider behind and making it a magnificent seven. Anna van der Breggen becoming the first woman or man to win seven consecutive editions of the same race. Yeah, you, you try to win the race with the team. So for me now it was more for myself and uh, I think also for the team. Um, of course the girls asked me how I feel and I said I feel good. So that's a bit of pressure for me then. I mean, if you say you're good, you need to be good. Um, but yeah, I felt uh, way better today than I was in uh, Amstel Gold Race. And it makes sense. I mean, it's three days later, so it should be. But still, you need to be uh, yeah, very good to win here. So um, Ashley had some bad luck with two crashes. So Ashley did some work before already. And Amy could feel she, um, yeah, she didn't have the great legs. And, of course, then, then we had a problem with Ruth um, on front, doing it really strong. So then Damien made the decision herself to sacrifice herself and close it. So that's, uh, I think that says a lot about uh, Damien also and for the future. So I'm really thankful for that. Yeah, this climb is so difficult and it's really hard to find the perfect time to attack. I mean, it's not about attacking, just like try, basically we were, we were going full gas from the from the bottom of the climb so I was trying to figure out how Anna feels because she was saying that she was sick last week so I wasn't sure if like okay this is the moment for me to go and like try to open up a gap but yeah she was obviously very strong and she knew when to go and she knew how to be patient I guess. Behind van der Breggen, Cassia Niviadoma finished two seconds down in second place with Elisa Longo-Borghini in third and Annemiek van Vleuten a close fourth. After being caught so late in the race, Ruth Winder hung on for seventh place and Demi Vollering rounded out the top ten. After seven races of the UCI Women's World Tour, Mariana Voss retains top spot in the individual standing. Indeed, the top three remain the same, but her victory lifts Anna van der Breggen into fourth place. Uh, every day, uh... 
blue jersey every day i uh, i think every day i uh, go sleep and i think uh, my dreams <laughs> blue jersey and i can uh, i can uh, to do uh, this uh, and uh, today i i can Maria Novolodskaya moves up one place to become the first Russian to lead the UCI Women's World Tour Young Rider classification, taking the place of Emma Jurgensen, who drops to second place, while former leader Evita Music moves up to third overall.